What's going on guys, Zedia Fliptronics. I'm gonna be going over how to set up widgets on both the iPhone XR and SE2 in five of my favorites currently. So, you know, if you're not using widgets that much right now, definitely recommend checking out the ones I'm gonna be going over. Also, if you guys could smash like one on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. So, um, right now, if you typed in widgets into the app store, you're gonna get like a ton of different results. Currently, the top one is Widgetsmith, which is actually one of my favorites because it allows you to create custom widgets. And we'll We'll get into how to do that shortly here and then i'm also going to show you how to add a third party widget which can be a little bit tricky if you've never done it before um, and it's actually something that's pretty common now because there are so many different widgets being released into the app store but okay the first one here um, is going to be widget smith and obviously just to add a widget you need to you know install one download one and then you just click the little plus icon but widget smith like i said it's really cool because you know you can have a lot of fun with it making your own widgets taking photos um, that you already have on your iPhone or you know, doing a lot of different customization type things that you're not gonna be able to do on other uh, widgets out there. So I'm gonna do um, one from scratch here. I'm just gonna add one. You have three different sizes on here. You've got small, medium, and large. And um, it's just like, this is just very fun using Widgetsmith. It's very addictive. I've created like a ton of different widgets. But all right, we're just gonna grab this like little crypto logo on a crypto called Graph. GTR and uh, I'm going to show you basically how you can uh, you know get this set up so once you have something saved you would obviously save it and then you can edit you know whatever widget you created and then you know it's basically good to go um, and then obviously over here I already had one I created on the uh, the 10R they look pretty cool but like I wanted to show you real quick here if you ever need to add like a widget and it's not showing up you would have to go to the customize option down here uh, scrolling over then you could start to add some uh, third-party widgets and that happens sometimes like you'd see Hulu was in there so I mean there are gonna be some situations where it's not gonna show up automatically and that's where you need to add it all right and then uh, the next widget we're gonna be getting into here is gonna be color widgets uh, this is another one of my favorites because it's kind of like a customization one with like the the time you could have your battery pop up on there your location city whatnot um, and they've actually added a lot of cool things in this app so you you know, I mean, I would definitely check it out. There are some paid options in color widgets, but there's like a bunch of free options in here with some really cool themes. So I would just stick to the free stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, it's uh, it's pretty cool stuff, right? Okay, the next uh, widget we're gonna be getting into here is gonna be smart stack now this one is cool because it allows you to stack multiple widgets on top of each other and then you could just browse through them you can see there's a few different sizes you can use with this but once you have it added you know you can start scrolling and uh, we'll check that out right here check it out it's pretty sweet right and then you could add different widgets to it too and just kind of like make it a bigger smart stack and you know all right but the next one uh other than that one being extremely useful i really like robin hood now i know everyone out there is not going to have a robin hood uh, trading account but you know i like this one a lot because there's a few different ways that you can add it you can have your like account pull up looks like i need to refresh it over here let me add it over here on the uh, se2 but you can have your account like pull up your balance you can show your different stocks that you own things like that so i mean you know if you're already using robin hood it's just a win-win i mean it's pretty uh, self-explanatory okay and then the uh the final widget that i absolutely love using you know if you like to check the weather weather lines really sweet i've checked out probably like four or five different weather widgets and this one honestly is the best in my opinion there's like five or six different options to add it for the sizes but overall i really like it anyways guys just doing some more widget stuff here with the iphone 10r and se2 like i said if you're not really messing around or adding widgets very much right now i'd recommend checking out each one of these you guys could also smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't thanks for watching it and we'll see you in the next one